The impossible dream has happened. Heavyweight history has happened. The winner, and once again, heavyweight champion of the world. in the ring with some real competition. I shake it off! Nice work, kid. Championship pay-per-view action. Alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitor. So glad you're with us as we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan, the site for our championship fight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. George Foreman's ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars. But yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Mike Tyson, so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. On, Round one of 12. This should be a very good test for him. George Foreman is now facing the ultimate challenge for a fighter. His first chance to claim a title. And he's got to be whispered in his ear a little bit. Right now, we're looking at his cornerman. They're up there. They're talking in his ear. they got to remind him. You've done it before. Not in the pros, but the amateurs. You've been on the big stage. Go do it again. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by George Foreman. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Able to show you his blocking ability. Well, it's hard to imagine a way in which this version of Big George Foreman can lose, and so far, 
Nobody's been able to figure that out. An undefeated fighter, big George Foreman. You know, when you look at a guy like George Foreman, I know from my experience, it can be a little misleading. You look at him, you think he's the most confident guy in the world because, hey, look at the size of him. A lot of the confidence, you don't know until he's in a tough spot, really how true it is. The confidence for Foreman right now is that he has a zero attached to his record. Yeah, good work. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by George Foreman. There you go. A headshot blocked. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Not able to land the headshot. Big shot. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Foreman, 60 seconds to recover. Hopefully will be enough for him. Now he's got good cornermen. He's got the right people in place to try to fix this situation. Yeah, and they got to work like a pit stop, you know, in the Indianapolis 500. One guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing the tires, you know, another guy's maybe giving the driver a little water. They got to do the same thing. Give him some water, refresh him a little bit, work his legs a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. Move your head! That's a forceful two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Finish with the Foreman's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water on top of the head where you revigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. And he's holding... Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Keep moving. Keep moving. And what a clever combination by George Foreman. Nice strike after catching one by George Foreman. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And this round comes to an end. Keep jabbing and hitting him. Keep him in front of you, okay? And round number three is underway. Super two-punch combo by George Foreman. George Foreman's doing a beautiful job here early on of counter-punching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counter-punching pays off, too, because your opponent becomes a little tentative, and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Well-targeted double jab by George Foreman. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Wow! He was able to get up 
and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Foreman's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. When you're leading up to a fight, sparring is so critically important. How important is it that you have sparring partners that really act as a scout ahead towards the opponent you're going to be facing? You know, that's a great question, and it depends where you are in your career. In the early part of the career, you know, it doesn't matter as much. You just want to get your fighter consistent in the areas he needs to be consistent with whoever you got him in there with, and then you improve as you start to develop, and then you give him different looks whenever you can. But when you're fighting a big fight and you know exactly who you're fighting, well, you want a guy that height... You want a guy that size because mentally you want your fighter to know that he's been in with that guy. To feel like, I've already fought with this guy. And obviously you want him to be ready to deal up. with all the physical dimensions he's going to see that night. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Is your head moved? George Foreman's great by an uppercut. 90 seconds to go in round number four. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Able to cover up that gut. Locks that punch. Keep moving. Keep moving. Hey. Good block by George Foreman. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Tyson's rocked by that punch. Did you see that? You know, when you bully the bully, you can do that right there. Tyson floored by the power punch. question becomes after that knockdown and he has gotten up how right, Mike breathe, Tyson's go getting a break breath, as for now breath, but Teddy some water he right. looked horrible at the end of that round he was taking a lot of punishment now this is where you really have to have to resolve the mentality of a fighter because he's got to go back and face that in a minute when he comes out of his corner can he face that can he push that away out of his consciousness Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? There it is! He got to Iron Mike. Now Iron Mike needs to get to himself. Find a way to dig deep and climb up off the canvas.
hand to be raised in victory he scores the knockout here tonight Foreman's your winner, claiming his first title. And I think he's going to keep it for a while. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.